for the final stop on our California trip. We're exhausted, but we welcome you over the side of the traffic. John Muir National Historic Site. Let's go. Welcome to John Muir's home. This was his home when he was finally married in California in 1880 um, to what's uh, the time of his death in 1914. It was originally built by his father-in-law, John Strunzel, who, uh, who was kind of a pioneer, came out with the 49ers. As you know, John Muir um, was the father of the National Park Service uh, and also the person that really came up with the idea that we should have open space and um, spaces where we can recreate ourselves and connect with nature and it was kind of a new idea at the time that wasn't something that people thought about the resources in the country were thought to be something to be used and not to be preserved and he was just at that time where where people needed to understand that because he could see it disappearing mm -hmm. so he was at the right time but he's the one that could articulate it Got some neat pictures scattered around John Muir's house. Here's a picture of John Muir right here. This one's one of my favorites. I've seen this one before. This is John Muir and Teddy Roosevelt at Yosemite. Every time I look at that, I say the present's a little close to the edge right there, isn't it? They call this some of John Muir's greatest monuments than the establishment of Mount Rainier Yosemite, Grand Canyon, and Sequoia to be national parks. So that big Sequoia over my left shoulder was actually planted by John Muir himself. They're not indigenous to this area and they're really having a hard time keeping it alive. But John Muir went up to the Sierra Nevadas, grabbed a little sampling, brought it back to his house, put it in the ground, and over 100 years later, it's still growing. So we're glad to have you in the mm -hmm. home. Welcome and, and, <laughs> and remember Mr. Muir. Oh, thank you so much. We appreciate his work and your work as well. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.